And this is a key to his performance. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. 2 Kings chapter 19 and verse 31, For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant. Say a remnant. A remnant. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. What shall do this? The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Now, let's look over to Isaiah chapter 9, and then let's look at verse 7. Of the increase of his government and what? Peace. Peace. Of the increase, say increase. Increase. Of the increase are these words. Yes. Do you suppose they're important? Yes. Mm -hmm. Of the increase of government and peace, there shall be no end. What does that mean? Did it end? Forever. No, it's gonna it's gonna increase. Say it's going to increase. It's going to increase. Government and peace with no end, right? Mm -hmm. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever from henceforth forever right yes the zeal of the lord of hosts will perform this mm -hmm. what's going to perform this the zeal. the zeal of the lord of hosts or as we know here the lord of spirits because the hosts are spirits mm -hmm. Say the hosts are spirits. The hosts are spirits. So the zeal of the Lord of spirits or the zeal of the Lord, the Holy Ghost, will perform this. Government, yes. government and peace, there shall be no end. But it's going to increase. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Now, zeal the basic terminology what that means the basic meaning of zeal is jealousy say jealousy jealousy the jealousy of the lord of spirits will perform this mm -hmm. exodus chapter 34 and verse 14 says for thou shalt worship no other god you suppose this is important mm -hmm. Thou shalt worship no other God for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, mm -hmm. is a jealous God. Well, that's good because his name is Jealous mm -hmm. and he's a jealous God. Yeah. Say, he's a jealous God. A jealous so, God. God. so he wants you worshiping him and no other God mm -hmm. because he's a jealous God, right? right. And the zeal, this jealousy, mm -hmm. If you do that, this is important. Say, if I do that, if I do that, then the zeal of the Lord will perform something for you. If you don't do that, then no zeal for you. Are you here? Yes. Can you see that the Lord, that the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform something? Mm -hmm. Are we here? Oh, yeah. Right? So it's that zeal that will do something for the remnant, for the government, and for peace that nothing else will do it has to be done by the zeal of the lord and the zeal comes from the fact that he's jealous because you worship him and him only mm -hmm. all right i feel like i got that across did i get that across mm -hmm. no other god before me now let's look at luke this is jesus talking luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve thou shalt worship the lord thy god 
and him only shalt thou serve now you can see where the jealousy of the Lord fits right into here mm -hmm. right Jesus was actually quoting those things thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve him only him only say only, only. does it matter that you don't know who the Lord your God is is that a problem who is the Lord your God in the earth today there's only one God in the earth today his name is the Holy Ghost thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve that's where the jealousy is that's where the the zeal is mm -hmm. that will perform something I hope you're here that will perform something that other things can't do I'm going here him only serve he's jealous over that and this is a key to his performance the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this there are a lot of things that we want a performance of can you give me that yeah say there's a lot of things, lot of things. I, want I want a performance of the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this no zeal no performance or you will have a non-performance most people have a non-performance because I can almost guarantee worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today let alone only is not part of your vocabulary yet Holy Ghost only is not what you've been doing you want the performance of the zeal of the Lord of hosts but you're not doing the thing that causes him to have zeal for you does this make sense mm -hmm. yet in here the zeal of the Lord of hosts is the performance of everything I hope you can hear it everything is in here in here in where in worshiping the Holy Ghost and him only serving I know that sounds strange to many of your ears and when you're in this room worshiping the Holy Ghost only it's all right here under the surface accessed by your faith and your spoken words it's how we walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today listen I can make all politics go away all politics to go silent peace be still the zeal of the Lord of hosts did we see the increase of government I'm not making this up and peace Isaiah chapter 40 verse 17 all nations before him are as nothing what nations all. oh all okay all nations are before him as nothing and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity imagine all political stupidity and ignorance silenced as if it were nothing as if it never existed you know what's less than nothing something that never even existed yeah. right now you have wind going in the sails of these the the ignorant political things going on just wind wind after wind blowing into it what if the wind stops takes all the wind out of its sails just like that nothing silence say silence, silence. how would you say silence each word of God and specifically each spoken word of God produces itself it doesn't return void and it's without limits you have underestimated the power of the spoken word of God 
are you hearing this how many of you would like to have a winning lottery ticket right who wouldn't like that ten million dollars hundred million dollars and you believe that if you were to take that winning lottery ticket and go cash it in you would get at least 40 percent of that original amount <laughs> yeah. if that because of taxes and other things mm -hmm. but i believe that if i cash this in god's word in my mouth then i get all of it yeah. say all of it all god's word in your mouth is like a winning lottery ticket except better mm -hmm. but you've underestimated grossly underestimated the power of the spoken word of God God's Word in your mouth Hebrews chapter 11 and then verse 6 says but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is who is God the Holy Ghost is the one we're talking about he is in the earth believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him so he's in the earth and he's rewarding us as we diligently seek him this faith pleases God Proverbs 16 verse 7 when a man's ways please the Lord he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him is this in your Bible mm -hmm. Solomon knew this Solomon lived this you remember Solomon mm -hmm. first Kings chapter 5 and verse 4 says but now the Lord my God has given me rest who did it the Lord is God has given me rest on every side so that there is neither adversary nor evil occurrent really uh, yeah first Kings chapter 4 verse 22 and Solomon's provision for one day say one day, one day. was 30 measures of fine flour and three score measures of meal you suppose uh, Solomon ate well <laughs> 10 fat oxen and 20 oxen out of the pastures and a hundred sheep besides hearts and roes and fallow deer and fatted fowl my goodness feast of Kings verse 24 for he had dominion over all the region on this side of the river from Tipsa even unto Azah over all the kings on this side of the river and he had peace on all sides round about him and we read in that other verse of scripture mm -hmm. that the Lord caused him to have peace on all sides yeah. in Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9 it says the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former you know this right mm -hmm. I'm not making stuff up I'm just trying to put some things together you might not have realized the former house was Solomon's temple mm -hmm. and what did God do for Solomon and his temple he made him have peace on every side say peace, peace. on every side. every side verse 9 the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former say greater, greater. saith the Lord of hosts and in this place will I give peace saith the Lord of hosts in this place will I give peace saith the Lord of hosts and that peace would be on every side and the latter house will be greater than the former who's the latter house yeah. use the latter house I'm the latter house do words mean something and in this place will I give peace the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this peace on every side listen peace is on the horizon 
not war man you just get kicked out of a lot of churches for saying something like that peace is on the horizon not war my words are dangerous to those who preach fear and that's just about everybody fear mongerers but I say fear not says the Lord takes the wind out of their sails and herein I am unveiling the secrets of righteousness and not everybody sees it and not everybody knows it but a remnant shall this is how it works I have to tell you things and then you hear them say I hear them, I hear them. and then you start to believe them what is everybody else hearing and believing they're starting to believe the fear the fear the bad report mm -hmm. the evil report you turn on the TV and what do you get the evil report I say things to you you hear them and you start say start, start. you start to believe them and it begins to create a change on the inside of you the change is real believe in the change it may just be a glimmer at first but where it glimmered look more closely look there again and it gets brighter and it begins to shine stronger believe in the light remember Jesus said that while you have the light believe in the light believe it and I know what I'm talking about I'm speaking words that cause a glimmer of light to go off on the inside of you some of you are getting confirmation of it right now believe in that light go towards that light go towards the light believe in the light go towards that light move towards that light with your belief and it will grow cut off those voices that speak otherwise cut them off that's a lot of voices you shall seek the light and find righteousness with the Lord of Spirits second Peter chapter 1 verse 19 we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts everything comes out of this light and I'm pointing you to it and the zeal of the Lord of hosts that you worship shall perform it take heed until that day dawns on the inside of you and arises in your hearts and takes you to that new place that you know you're supposed to live in and be in Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing us this evening with this word we take heed unto it and let it grow and shine in our hearts and the day before us says the Spirit Lord shines bright and is greater than anything you could have possibly imagined so don't listen to the naysayers and the fear mongers for they are wrong they know not what they're talking about for this is your day and your time to arise and shine we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost you are the Lord of Spirits you have dominion in this earth and can cause the silver and the gold to come to me the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God